break on that beat going crazy
Working transition, there we are. Hello, every, everybody. How are we all doing this Thursday night? It is actually a little bit dark. I'm going to turn on the brightness just a little bit. There we are. So you can see me in full, voli full volition. How are we all doing on this fine night? Kicking off of round 12 of the NRL. Indigenous round this is. It's a very, very solemn round for most people in in connection with rugby league, especially to majority of the players. When will the game start? Storm vs Broncos. It should start in about 5-10 minutes. It does say that 7.50 is the kickoff. The issue is... It, not not the issue, but the thing is, is um, they're probably going to do, for all the games, because it is Indigenous round, doing a welcome to country sort, sort of ceremony. So maybe 8 o'clock or 7.55 is when the game will kick off. So in terms of that, so the Bison Broncos, they um they got up against the uh, the, the uh, Sydney Roosters last week. So a very good job to them. But now they face a, a, a very much a bigger challenge in coming in with the Melbourne Storm. So I'm going to go through the lineups now. This is as live as of an hour ago. So here we go. So the first... Is we're going to do the Brisbane Broncos. We got Jermaine Osako at fullback. You got Xavier Coates and David Mead on the wings. You got Herbie Farnworth and Jesse Arthars in the centres. You got Anthony Melford at uh, five eight, and you got uh, Albert Kelly at halfback. I believe it's apparently meant to be his first game in the NRL for a couple of years. If I think about seven or so years, because he has been over in England playing for both. Uh, Hull Kingston Rovers and Hull FC. Now you got Payne Haas, Jake Turpin, and John Asiata as the prop hooker prop. You got Keenan Palacia and Tavita Pangai Jr. in the second row, and Thomas Flegler at lock. The interchange consists of Kobe Hetherington, Ethan Bullimore, TC Rabadi, and Dale Copley, and the reserves are Selwyn Cobbo and Corey Pye. Now for the Melbourne Storm, you've got Nico Hines at fullback. You've got George Jennings and Addo Carr on the wings. You've got Remus Smith and Justin Olam in the centres. You've got Chris Lewis at 5'8 and Jerome Hughes at halfback. You've got Jesse Bromwich, Brandon Smith and Toy Kamikamika in the prop hooker prop. You've got Felice Kafusi and Tom Eisenhoof in the second row. And you've got Dale Finucane at the lock. You've got Aaron Booth, Trent Loyero. Nelson Osava Solomona and Dean Ierem I think it's an I Eremia in the on the interchange and the reserves are Aaron Penne and Cooper Johns, the younger son of Andrew of Matthew Johns, sorry, not Andrew. But he's the nephew of Andrew Johns. So that is going to that is the lineup for the uh, this match is of course Indigenous round, so very so there will be a an opening ceremony, uh, but uh, it's going to be very interesting. So, what does everybody think? Will Brisbane, with the momentum of their win against the Sydney Roosters, put up a fight against Melbourne, or will Melbourne be too strong? And that is a true. Melbourne have Melbourne have also got one of the best forms in the comp, so. The Melbourne Storm, there is a change here. Johns is starting. Cooper Johns. List has changed. Cooper Johns is starting now. Yeah, I just saw, just popped through. Cooper Johns is starting at 5'8 for the Melbourne Storm. That is some big news that is coming through. So, former, 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 former Knights player. No, um, this is the Johns brother never played for Newcastle. So, in terms of changes, looking at... The Bris at Brisbane, I don't think there is any changes. It is all completely fine. But yeah, Cooper Johns now starting at 5'8 at, for the Melbourne Storm. Of course, his other brother, Jack, currently at Newcastle under a development contract. He was at South Sydney for a little bit used, and he played for the Knights in the under-20s, comp in 2017. So yeah, going to be very interesting to see what will go through for this match, and I'm happy to see Cooper Johns play. 
So I'm assuming um, by the way it's looking, both teams are going to come out together, I believe, is going to be the plan. As there is Albert Kelly there, making his first appearance in the NRL in a, since 2013. Going to be a big moment as Josh Adokar will be also walking walking up. So there's going to be... So both teams... Sorry about that. Uh... Just had to make a bit of a uh, bit of a change there. I apologise, but uh, So just getting ready now for the uh, the opening ceremony. So players not too far away. And locked in arms here in the boomerang formation and ready for kickoff. Could be a very special round. We've dealt with a lot of controversy lately, of course. Okay, that was it. Um, I was actually preparing for an actual like big, uh, big ceremony. But uh, no, they, they linked up arms. They played a little video. And that's, and that's it, so now we're getting ready for kickoff. I thought they were doing the whole thing, that's why I pre prepared that slide quickly, but uh, yeah, just about getting ready now to kick off here. The game hasn't kicked off yet, so we're just getting ready now. I believe it's going to be the Melbourne Storm kicking off. They're going to be running to that, as the pen goes, stream right or stage left, because this is a stage, apparently. Oh, there's a kickoff. They've missed. The cameras have missed the kickoff. We are underway here. And there's a first tackle. And it's... Oh, and it's a knock-on here. And in the first tackle of Albert Kelly. And Kelly has lost the ball. So it's going to be a scrum feed here to the Melbourne Storm. I don't know why uh, the camera... It was looking at something else. And all of a sudden, it missed the kickoff. So, uh, Albert Kelly, welcome back to the NRL. And he's accidentally lost the ball there. So it's going to be a big chance here for the Melbourne Storm to get some points on the board. Only 30 seconds have gone in this match. 20 metres out now for the Melbourne Storm. Now, that's Brandon Smith. Now, that's number 17. That is a Sofa Solomona who is starting. So that is another change of Melbourne team. They've got an offload here. Brandon Smith. Now inside the 10, and he's, and he's gone to pass, and he's going to be brought down. So there's the first tackle there for... Uh, zero, actually. And now Sofa Solomona. Trying to break through, but he'll get brought down on the 10 now for the first tackle. 
Now they're going to go down the right side here, Melbourne. They've definitely got numbers here as well. They've got plenty of numbers and just... Oh! A flick back pass, but it's been touched by George Jennings. But Melbourne have gotten the ball back here. And it, uh, Brisbane were away, but the refs have called it back. I don't know why. So it's actually going to be a penalty to Brisbane. I don't understand why they didn't let that play on, to be completely honest. So Kafusi's actually cleared out Albert Kelly. So it's an obstruction penalty anyways. Very interesting. There. Albert Kelly having a bit of a rocky start to his uh, first to his first game. So here comes there was a penalty for an obstructing a defender. And here comes the kick for the penalty. And the ball will be picked up on the Brisbane 25. So here's the first hit up now for Brisbane. Now they make it to the 35 for the first tackle. Now they're going to go down the right side here. Bit of charge here. They're a bit flat on the, uh, the right side of defence here, Bri uh, Melbourne. And that's number four. That is Jesse Arthurs. He makes it to the 40 inside of Melbourne's half for the second tackle. Now they're going to go down the middle here. That is Anthony Milford who gets brought down on the 35 now for the third tackle. Potentially calling for a set restart here. And it's been given. It's a ruck infringement. And now let's number 10. That is Payne Haas. Just shy of the 20 metre line. Inside the Melbourne's halves now for the first tackle. Now they're going to go down the left side here. That's Milford. Milford almost breaking through there. And he's just shy of the 10 for the second tackle. And they're going to go down the left here. So that that's Kelly. Kelly was not running the numbers. That's Jermaine Asako. And Asako gets brought down hard. For the third, fourth tackle. Now they're going to go down right near the corner here. Now that's Kelly trying to go himself. Now inside the 10. That's the fourth tackle. Now that's number 15. That is John Asiata. Giving a pass off to Milford. Going for a kick. And it's been... There was a knock on anyways. It was Coates versus Adokar. But I believe it was a double knock on. So, But I think it was by Brisbane first. So it would be... A scrum feed to Melbourne, but Ado Card looks like he when he fell back, his head slammed the back of the ground here. So he looks he looks like he's in a lot of pain. Is he alright? Or yeah, I think he's I think Ado Card's back of his head collides with the uh, the hip of uh, Xavier Coates. I think Ado Card should be okay. He is limping a little bit, so uh, very uh, interesting thing to f things that are, are developing. Especially in terms with the selection for State of Origin coming up. Because that would be a big loss if the Blues do not have Adam Carr. So it's a scrum feed here to Brisbane now. on their, To Melbourne, sorry, on their 10. And there's the first hit up there. And they're going to make it to the 15 for the first tackle. And now that's number 11. That is Felice Kafusi, who makes it to, I believe, the 30. Yes, to the second tackle. Now here comes the third tackle now on the 35. Now they're going to go down the left side here from being central. And it's going to be to the 45. That's number 30, and that is uh, Finnecane. Now Brandon Smith goes from dummy half, and he makes it to the 45 inside of Brisbane's half. Now last tackle here for Melbourne. Oh, and it's a pass to their kicker that's gone all the way back. Oh, and it's a big wrap-up. Oh, potentially high shot there on Flegler. It's a penalty to Melbourne. Is it, a, is it going to be in the bin? It was a big charge down, and Flegler did get him for a bit of a high tackle. Let's have a look here. Yep, it's around the neck. It was Brandon Smith. Yeah, he touches the hand, but then the arm slings around to the neck. So the pe so the penalty kick makes it to the Brisbane 40. So here comes the first bit of play now for the Melbourne Storm. Here's some good post-contact meters coming up here. This is the first tackle. Now they're 30 meters away from the try line now, the Melbourne Storm. Now they're going to go down the left side here. That's Jerome Hughes. And they're good enough. They've got numbers here. Almost a breakthrough there for, for Hines. He's on the 10 now for the second tackle. And now that's Cooper Johns now from dummy half. He's given off to Jerome Hughes. 
Now to Smith. Oh, they've got numbers. Oh, you want Briz. Oh, but he's going to be dragged out. Oh, it's a big flick out. It's still in play. Brandon Smith. His play's still going. There's a kick. And it's going to be picked up by Payne Haas, who's been tackled in goal. So it's going to be a goal line dribble at the Brisbane. Brilliant frantic uh, back pass by George Jennings to keep the ball in play there. That was actually very good. So Jennings has a pass off. It was actually to Jerome Hughes. He gets a grubber and Payne Haas with the assertion of diving. So six and a half minutes gone. And there's the goal line drop out here by Brisbane. And they make it to the 55 now. Oh, that looked forward. So Jesse Bromwich now gets the uh, the first tackle as he'll be brought down 35 metres away from the try line. Now that's Jerome Hughes. It's given off to Cooper Johns. They've got numbers to Hines all the way out to Addo Carr here. 15 metres away. Breaks through two. Breaks through three. Breaks through four. Now he's inside the 10. Gives it off to Jerome Hughes and wraps him around. Gets wrapped around the legs now for the second tackle. Five metres out. Now they're going to go down the left side here. That's Brandon Smith. And he tries to go himself, but he gets held up and dragged back now. Third tackle here for Melbourne. Now that's Jerome Hughes. who gives it off to Cooper Johns. Now to Hines. Hines now trying to break through. He's running la um, lateral. And he's going to get brought down past the 10-meter line for the fourth tackle. And now it's going to be Brandon Smith here from the past. Now that's to Cooper Johns. Now off to Olam. Olam trying to power through, but he's still short. And it's a knock-on anyways by Justin Olam. But it's going to be a, is it a, is it going to be a captain challenge here from Melbourne? Because Justin Olam is claiming that it was stripped. Watching live stream here in PNG's National Capital. Shout out to my, uh, shout out to all people out there in Port Moresby. Your, your boy, uh, Justin Olam, almost went over. So, eight and a half minutes remaining. They're saying that he should have challenged that, to be fair. So, it's going to be a scrum feed anyways on the 10 now for the Brisbane Broncos. And the scrum's been... The, ball, the, the delivery of the ball's gone powered right through. So, they're going to try that again here. Um, I don't know what happened, but the scrum feed, two Melbourne players, I think it was Bromwich and another one, were standing, pretty much standing up in the scrum feed. I wasn't surprised how the refs tell them to got back in. Now, here's the second tackle here for Brisbane now on their 20. They're going to get off the left side here. That's number 12. That is Pangai Jr. Gets an offload off to, from Turpin. And now Flegler now has got the ball. He's given a back pass here. Brisbane now keeping on going. I believe that is number 15. That is Asiata. Third tackle now, just shy of the 40 now. Now, they get that, now that's Payne Haas now. Makes it to the 45 for the fourth tackle. Now it's off to Milford. Now to Palacio. Piazza now par powering past halfway now. Last tackle here for the Broncos. 45 metres away from the try line. Here's the kick. Bit of a flat kick now, and now Jerome Hughes has gotten the ball, and he's almost run through a gap, gap, and he's now on the 45 inside his own half now for the first tackle. So Milford went for a bit of a spiral kick, but it went basically uh, on the other side of the field, only about 15 metres through here. So second tackle to Melbourne now on the Brisbane 40. Now here comes the third tackle on the 30. Now Brandon Smith from dummy half. He's going to get the pass to Cooper Johns, and Cooper Johns... Runs into a three-man tackle and he'll be brought down 15 metres away from the trial line now for the fourth tackle. Now Smith goes in the short now to Hines. Hines trying to go himself, but he's just short. Going to get brought down. Last tackle here for Melbourne. Oh, and the pass has gone to nobody. It's been picked up eventually. Now Jerome Hughes. Oh, it's been chased down there by Brisbane. And now Melbourne have got the ball back. And Melbourne have played on here. And Brisbane, it could be through here. But it's a big tackle between Remus Smith and George Jennings. I don't know how Brisbane... That should have been called back. I don't know where, but there's a first tackle now. That's Kelly now for Brisbane. On the 30 for the first tackle in inside the Melbourne half. 
And it's a set restart as well now for Brisbane. Now Flegler trying to get in. That is uh, Finna Kane who went in for the tackle. And it's another set restart again now for, for Brisbane. That's the thing though. Melbourne need to be careful because they might get a Symbian here if they don't calm down. So now here comes the first tackle. This is Asiata who makes it to the 25 for the first tackle. So now that's Milford. Gives it off to Asako. And Asako will get brought down just shy of the 10 meter line for the second tackle. Now they're getting off the pass. Now it's Milford. Now to Payne Haas. Trying to power through and he's just 5 meters away from the try line now for the third tackle. Now Turpin, they go down the side. Milford gets it off to Kelly. Kelly now to Tavita Pangai. Oh, the pass has gone back. Oh, that's around the neck, surely. Oh, Br Brisbane's still in here. Fourth tackle. Now Pangai now trying to keep going. And now Farnworth gets brought down on the 10. Now last tackle here. 10 meters out. Kelly off to Milford. Milford with the grubber. And there's a bunch of Brisbane players, but I know cars there to chase it down. And slap it away. So it's going to be a goal line dropout here for Melbourne. What a chaotic first 12 minutes of the game. Very chaotic. If that bounce went a little bit more like not too far, that could have very certainly have been a try there to Xavier Coates. For the Brisbane Broncos. So here comes the goal line dropout kick here by Hines. And it'll be picked up just short of the 40. And here comes the first hit. I believe that is, that is David Mead. Gets it to the 25 for the first over now. Flegler. Making it just inside the 20 now for the second tackle. Going down the right side now. Milford. Milford gets brought down now. 15 metres away from the try line now. For the third tackle. And it's another set restart for Brisbane. It's 4 0 to Brisbane in set restarts at the moment. So now, first tackle, just shy inside the 10 now. And Kelly, oh, he's lost it. So Melbourne have been able to hang on there, but they need to be very careful because they're giving away a lot of set restarts. They almost got three in a row, and if they did, that means a player would have been straight up uh, sin-binned. But no warning at all. So, a very chaotic bit of play, but Melbourne are able to hang on here. So, it's going to be a scrum feed to the Melbourne Storm on their 10. Fucking hell, I've, I've said a lot of words. <laughs> so here comes the scrum feed now from the Melbourne Storm. And that's uh, George Jennings who makes it to the 15 for the first tackle. Now Heinz from Dummy Half has given it off to... I believe that's a Sofa Solomona. Makes it to the... Just shy of the 30 actually for the second tackle. And now here's the third tackle. They're going to be on the 40 now, Brit, uh, Melbourne. That was number eight. That was, uh... That's actually, yeah, Jesse Bromwich. And now, big post-contact meters there for Melbourne. Now, fourth tackle. They're 40 meters away from the try line now. Now, Brandon Smith. Runs to dummy half. Gives it off to Jerome Hughes in the head gear. Now, 30 meters off the try line now. Last tackle here for Melbourne. Now, it's Hines. Hines with a kick. And it's in the uh, goal mouth. And Jermaine Asako is going to let it run out. So it's going to be a 20-minute restart and a 7-tackle set here. Good uh, jockeying there by Asako. And there's the 0-tackle on Xavier Coates on the 25. Now here comes will be the first tackle. They make it to the 30, Brisbane. Yeah, Melbourne are very, very slow getting off their tackles. They need to be a bit wary about that. They've already given away four set restarts. So they don't want to give any more away in quick succession. So that was the second tackle. Oh, Brisbane have got numbers here. Oh, brilliant tackle there by Justin Olam. Now 45 metres away from the try line now, Brisbane, for the third tackle. Milford now. 
Gives it to Payne Haas. Makes it to the 35 for the fourth tackle. Now Turpin. Gives off to Asiata. Now Flegler with the spin. And the pass to Kelly and he's lost it. Kelly's having a bit of a shaky game, so it's a knock-on. So now Melbourne have the ball for a zero tackle. And it's a ruck infringement anyways. And now Cooper Johns now makes it to the 30 for the zero tackle. Yes, at least for zero tackle. Now Addo Carr's now got the ball. And he'll be brought down on the 45. Still inside of Melbourne's half now for the first tackle. And now that's, I believe, Bromwich. Now makes a pass halfway for the second tackle. No, it's a Sofa Solomona, sorry. Now it's Jerome Hughes. Now that is Jesse Bromwich. Now makes it to the 40 inside of Brisbane's half. Now Jerome Hughes will get the pass off. Now Jennings now makes it to the 30 inside of Brisbane's half. Now Hines. Hines now trying to break through here, but he's going to get wrapped around by Flegler. Gives the pass off to Brandon Smith. Smith now, in a bit of confusion. Breaks through a gap just like that. And he's going to score under the black dot. They might review this, depending on if there was maybe an obstruction. But as far as I'm aware, that is going to be the first try of the game. And it's going to be a try to Brandon Smith. The Cheese has scored. 18, 17 and a half minutes into this game. They are going to check this. I'm a bit skeptical to see if there was a bit of an obstruction there. By, I forget who it is. No, nah, that, that that would be extremely light. Thank you. I don't see any problem with that. Uh, Mark Hunt, Mark Knight, don't be tuning in what's going on in this place. Uh, you know, just watching football. And as all the Melbourne fans currently in Brisbane rejoice, I'd assume they're all from Brisbane because of the current situation. So the bunker has given the try. It has been confirmed. So Brandon Smith has scored the first try of the game. 4-0. So very, very good job there of the run there by the Cheese. May I ask, like, I, f I don't know why, but I find it a bit odd. Because he usually wears headgear, doesn't he? I have tipped Melbourne to win, but I desperately want them to lose. <laughs> very... <laughs> Yeah, I think that's that's my uh, my belief for the Knights is like either bet that they're gonna lose, but I'll, yeah, so it's a win-win kind of thing. So Nico Hines now with the kick right in front, he nails it. So 19 minutes gone, it is six nil to the Melbourne Storm. Very 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 interesting start to this match, I must say. Albert Kelly having a bit of a shocker at the moment at half back. They are playing Old Town Road at Suncorp. I mean, it kind of makes sense because, you know, it's about the West. Lil Nas X, uh, good on him. Getting that royalty money from the NRL, good on him. Very good for him. So 21-10 remaining in this half. So Brisbane are going to kick off here to continue the game. So there's the kick. It was low and driven. It's going to take a bounce and be picked up inside the goal mouth. And here comes Jesse Bromwich to take the first hit up. And it'll be brought down on the 15 for the first tackle. Now they're going to go down the right side here. Now that is the Sofa Solomona, I believe. Yes, it is the big boy. I do like big, big, powerful forwards in my game. So second tackle makes it to the 25 now. And now I believe that's number 11. That is Felice Kafusi now making it to the third 40. And now Brandon Smith going from dummy. Oh, that looked high. And it's a knock on, but he's down. No. Nah. Yep, he's down. Some, something's happened. Is your Broncos looking pretty good, but why is Milford playing? Um, do not know. I do know Milford was a part of the ins actually for this game. So, uh, yeah. So let's have a look. It says trip. Oh, shit. So, basically, Brandon Smith was going down, and basically, the number nine, Jake Turpin, came in, and his head basically went like that right into the crotch and lower abdomen region 
of Jake Turpin. So I don't think it should it shouldn't be a penalty because it's very accidental. I don't think it was anything on purpose. He, he ran into it. Yep. So just like that, Brandon Smith is coming off now for a HIA. No, I'm appealing that it should be a penalty. I don't think it I don't think it is. But like, but just like that, Brandon Smith. Brandon Smith is like it's like giving his handshakes to his players. So, by the way it's looking, his night might be over, Brandon Smith. But he did get a try in, his, in the first 20 minutes, so good on him. So here comes the sub now. Aaron Booth now comes in for the team. So it's going to be a scrum feed to Brisbane for the knock on on halfway. I mean, obviously the scrum had to the. Uh, oh, the last ball had to happen because of the head thing, but now Brisbane now. Got it down the charge line now. Coates now makes it to the 25 inside of Melbourne's half for the first tackle. Now that's number 11. That is Palacia. Makes it to the 15 now for the second tackle. Now they're going to get the pass off to Milford. Now Asiata. Now 15 meters away from the try line still for the third tackle. They're going to go down the left side here. Kelly. That gives it off to number 12. To Tavita Pangai Jr. And Melbourne have gotten the ball back here. I think it's over Solomon. A forced a tackle on Pangai Jr. Which made them lose it. So here's the first tackle. That is number 12. That is Tom Eisenhuth. Who makes it to the 20 for the first tackle. Oh, Justin Allen. That's around the neck as well. It is going to be a penalty to Melbourne with a high shot. Oh, it looked like he was grabbing the shirt in the back here, so it did kind of give the intention of looking around the neck. So it's going to be a penalty kick here for uh, the Melbourne Storm, and it's going to be picked up on the Mel in on the forty inside of Melbourne's half for the continued set. So now here's the charge. Now that's number thirteen. That is Dale Finnecane. Makes it to the 45 for the first tackle. Now Jerome Hughes gives it off to Hines. Hines has gone off the side to Jennings. Jennings now running down the line. He's 25 meters over the try line now. And Jennings is going to get wrapped up and brought back to the 30 for the second tackle. Now Hines is going to give it off to a sofa Solomona. He tries to power through and he'll get brought down just shy of the 20 inside of Brisbane's half. Now Jerome Hughes gives it off to Bromwich. And Bromwich almost breaking through a gap here. And he's now five meters over the try line now for the fourth tackle. Booth, who's just come on. Booth trying to go himself, but he's going to get held up just short of the line now. Last tackle here for the Storm. Finnegane, or Finucane. Grubber for Hughes, and it's been taken by the uh, by Kelly. Something goes <laughs> does go his way. So, uh, and here comes the second tackle now for Brisbane. Now, still inside the 10 here. Now there's the third tackle for Brisbane now inside the 10 for the third tackle. Now that's Payne Haas now makes it to the 15 for the fourth tackle. I think Brisbane are trying to just recoup from uh, being um, of not conceding there. Now Tavita Pangai now makes it past the 30 for the last tackle. Last tackle here to, for Brisbane. Here's the kick from Kelly. Bit of a knuckleball as it's going to fall to Adokar on the 25. So Adokar will make it to the 45 for the first tackle. Still inside of Melbourne's half. Now Justin Olam now trying to break through. It'll make it just shy of halfway for the second tackle. Now Hines now from dummy half makes it to the 40 inside of Brisbane's half now for the third tackle. And they're going to go down the right side here. Jerome Hughes with a kick over the top. It's a race here for Jennings. It's Jennings versus Sarko. And Asako's had to pick it up. And I'll be dragged in for a goal line dropout. Very tactical move there by Jerome Hughes. So it's going to be a goal line dropout here for Brisbane. Very interesting because it was on the third tackle, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take it. 
As you got some guy in the crowd as they're looking over Jerome Hughes, who looks a lot like Cameron Munster, who is a Melbourne fan, one of the Melbourne fans. And there's the goal line drop out here, and it's going to be picked up on halfway. And here comes a big charge here for Melbourne as they make it to the 35 now for the first tackle. That was number 15. That is uh, Kamika Mika. And now Fanuka now makes it to the 30 now for the second tackle. Now Jerome Hughes gives it off to Johns. Now Hines. Oh, tries to give it off to Olam. But it's fallen to Ado Carr. Bit of an interesting pass here from Hines. And a long pass here from Ado Carr. And it's gone to Kamika Mika, who's now 15 metres away from the try line now for the third tackle. Now Booth gives it off to Bromwich. Now to Johns. Now to Hines. And Hines now inside the 10. Five metres away from the try line now. Fourth tackle for Melbourne. Now that was Johns. Now to Hughes. Oh, almost a knock on there by Finnawaker. Now 10 metres over the try line. Last tackle here for Melbourne. And now Hughes with a kick. Oh, it's gone a bit wayward. And it's going to be an easy take there for Brisbane. And now it's a sprint to play on here. As there's David Mead. And there's a zero tackle. I think most of the Melbourne players are offside. But anyways, it's a continuation. So now that is... First tackle now. That was for Brisbane now. Just shy of the 40. Number four, that is uh, Jesse Arthurs making it... Just shy of halfway. I just want uh, Koi. Thank, uh, welcome to the uh, the Discord server. I just saw you joined. That's uh, TC Rabatti now who gets the charge now. 40 meters over the try line now. Payne Haas coming in now. 25 meters over the try line now. Fourth tackle. Now they're going to go down the left side here. Jermaine Asako. Now it's given off to Farnworth. Uh, hello, uh, PXG pops. How are you? going my dude last tackle here for Brisbane 20 meters out here's the kick from Kelly it's going to go for Coates and it's shaken by Anika oh but it's going to be a knock on oh Josh Urumaga Joseph just subscribed it is good to know that's the um the actual our oh, PNG pops just subscribe thank you very, very much it is good to know the actual um the, the uh the alert box actually works I actually didn't realise it actually works. Uh, which team do I support? I support the Newcastle Knights. So I believe it's going to be... It was, I think it was a knock-on there by Brisbane, so it's going to be a 20 to restart there for Melbourne. Is it? No, Addo Card, the first touch, it was a double knock-on, and that means it's going to be a goal and dropout by Brisbane. It's good, to Melbourne, but in favour of Brisbane. I'm going to turn down the alert box and have sound just a little bit. So Rabadi has come on to replace Flegler. Oh, and there's the charge there by TC Rabadi, who makes it to the 30 for the first tackle. I'm from England, but I do follow a bit of an roll. That's coming. Cool, um. So now, second tackle now, just shy, 30 metres away. Now Kelly gives it off to Payne. Will they lose it forward again? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> you never know. So third tackle now for Brisbane, 20 metres away. Here comes Milford. Gives it off to number 11, to Palacia. And play, it come of legs of Olam. It's going to be a play on a set restart now. But no from no challenge. It was just a, uh, a play of the ball there by Melbourne and Brisbane get it back. And TC Rabadi almost breaking through there for the first tackle. Inside the 10. Now Milford. No, it's Kelly, sorry. Kelly just short of the line now for the second tackle. Turpin to Tavita Pangai Jr. who will get held up for the third tackle. Now Kelly gives it off to TC Rabati and it'll take another charge as he'll be brought five meters away now for the fourth tackle. Now Turpin gives it off to Milford. Oh and it's trying to get a long pass in. That's sure it's gone backwards so it's still play on here. There was no play. Oh, that's a pass. That's gone back anyways. So it's going to be a knock-on there by Brisbane. Yes, it was a, it was a knock-on there by Brisbane. They tried to give an offload off, but it did go forward. And he somehow got the ball back, but it's all all right. So, yeah, it's good to know that the um, actual alert, bo the alert box actually does work. So thank you 
for the for those two people for for subscribing. But it's nice to know that the uh, the mini feed doesn't work because it's backed up by three months. So now, 11 minutes now remaining in this half, still 6-0. I know everybody who was asking or what was brought in, it was a, it was a, a it was an ice cream. Uh, Colin Jr. Kumi, thank you for subscribing. Man, the alert box is working. That is amazing. So there's the first tackle now for Melbourne, now on their 20. Now there's a charge there by Justin Olam. Who makes it to the 25? Who is your favourite Knights player? Uh, I would say, probably at the moment, uh, Braden Musgrove. So he's the number three. Now that is Remus Smith now making it just shy of halfway. For the third tackle. Now that's George Jennings. Jennings now makes it past halfway, but he'll be dragged back into the other half now for the fourth tackle. So now that's number 15. That is Kamika Mika. Now Hines. Hines now 45 meters over the try line. Last tackle here for Melbourne as Pane has come on to replace Bromwich. There's the kick there from Cooper Johns. It's a long kick and it's going to be brought up by Xavier Coates. And Coates takes a massive charge and be brought down on the 15 for the first tackle as we are now under 10 minutes remaining now in this first half. Oh, I think it's a little bit of a head clash here. Hang on. It was a Melbourne play. I think it was a bit of a head clash here. I'm trying to figure out who the Melbourne... It's a Melbourne player. I'm trying to figure out who he is. Who the player is. So Jermaine Osako comes in. Oh! It's the number 12. It is Tom Eisenhoof who basically head clashes straight into the other head of the number 10 for Melbourne. Wait, who's the number 10 for Melbourne? Opinions at Reynolds to Broncos next season. I uh, find it very unfortunate that um, they couldn't, uh, Rabbitohs couldn't get a deal. But I think if you want a, uh, if you want a player to play to to this team, especially for Brisbane, then because uh, apparently I've heard Milford may be leaving. I've heard, so I think it's a very good cop there for uh, for the uh, the for the uh, the Brisbane Broncos. So a player has come off. So number six, so sixteen, uh, six. So uh, Chris Lewis has now come on. Who is this player? Yeah, uh, uh, hello dentist. Yeah, he's definitely going to need some dental work. So on the team sheet it said Chris Lewis will be starting, but now he's actually coming onto the field. So now Brisbane playing on here. So there's the third tackle now on the twenty-five. Oh, pass over the top here, and Ado Car chasing, but it's been picked up there by Jermaine Asako. And Janisako, it's not a knock-on. I feel like he did kind of drag the line at the moment. What about Hastings to West? I I actually haven't heard about that. And to be completely honest, get off him, Fox. Yeah, he was kind of riding him. So last tackle here for Brisbane. Now there's the kick from Kelly on the 20. And it's going to be picked up there by Jennings. I haven't... I, I don't know Jennings. I, I will... <laughs> so today, I'm not going to try to pretend. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh I know. Yeah. So I don't exactly know him, to be perfectly honest, uh, Pops. So now here's the third tackle now. Oh, it's an offload there from the number 20 for Aaron Penne. And now it's a charge here by, uh, by the number 15, which is uh, Kamikamika. Uh, an offload here. Now it's the number 20. That's Penne. Penne, no. Penne, almost breaking through here. It'll get brought down 15 metres away. Fourth tackle. And now that's Cooper Johns. Gives it off to Jerome Hughes. Oh, a bit of a play here. Hines now. And they get off to the side. Jennings now. Oh, but good sweeping defence there from Brisbane. Jennings still going here, however. It's getting off to Jerome Hughes. Hume still going. Gives the offload to Kafusi. Kafusi still going. Can they get another offload off? Or they're going to hold on. They're going to hold on. Yeah, Jackson Hastings signed for West Tigers from next season. That's uh, very interesting to hear. I can... Uh, oh, it's a kick. Oh, it's an unlucky kick there for Brisbane. It's a kick that's came off the leg of a Brisbane player. And it's fallen to Tui Kamikamika. And it's 10-0 to the Melbourne Storm. 
Yeah, Jackson. Uh, just gonna, I'm just gonna check actually. Uh, Jackson. Uh, uh, Jackson Hastings. So Kamika Mika. So it was a kick there by Cooper Johns. It's come off the foot of Milford and has bounced in the direction of Kamika Mika, who has grounded it. Jackson Hastings is always English. He's a scrum half for Wigan. Interesting. It's uh, it's very interesting to see how uh, it's all over. <laughs> 32-20. Yeah. So um, yeah. So uh, I, I do like seeing um, the um, the players that go really well over in the Super League coming over to Australia, but. Uh, to be completely honest, I think I've only watched... Uh, yeah, I've watched a Wigan game this season. It was against Hull, where Wigan hang, oh, held on. Yeah, I think I, I did cover that game. I think I think it went pretty... Uh, you went alright, actually. So here comes the kick now from Nicholas Hines to make this 12-0. He's from Australia, but he's he's has English roots and used to play for Manly. Okay. Definitely one to look out for there for the West Tigers. There's the kick there. It is successful for Nico Hines. So six minutes remaining. It is 12-0 to the Melbourne Storm. Hey, Scrum House 5 eight, isn't it? That's... Uh, I think, I think that's what they call 5 eighth over there, is scrum half. Or I might just be chatting bollocks. So here comes the kickoff now from Brisbane to continue the first half. Spectre 17 saying, go the Broncos. And there's the kickoff there from Brisbane. It is interesting. It's actually going to be very interesting to see what Melbourne are going to do because, as we all know, Melbourne is the actual city is currently on a seven-day lockdown because of a rise of cases of the uh, the you know what. So there's the second tackle there from Melbourne. Here's the third one actually. It's uh, makes it to the 45 for the third tackle. Now they're going to go down the uh, right side here. So Hines now gives it off to Rima Smith. Yeah, scrum half is 5 8. Okay. Hi, Chugger and Sub Chat. <laughs> Hello, Fab Castro. Good to see you back, my dude. I will be chugging tomorrow. I am actually going to a party tomorrow, so I can't do any of the games tomorrow. But I will do, like, little top videos of me watching the games. As there's a kick there, and it's been picked up there by Brisbane. I believe that's Coates. Brilliant take by Coates. There's like four players all the way. Maybe. And it's a massively dodgy pass by Anthony Milford. And now the Storm have a scrum feed 15 metres away from the try line. This is not looking good. The, this collapse last... Let's have a look at this pass from Milford. Oh my god. Basically slipped through the fingers and aimed straight to the ground. Why do they call it 5-8? Good question, actually. Yeah, Scrum Half actually, come to think of it, Scrum Half makes it, uh, has more sense than 5-8. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a rugby league history question of why they call the positions what they do. I feel like maybe it's got something to do with rugby, because I know rug, the union, Milford is dog water. Yeah, that pass was very dodgy. So there's the first tackle now for Melbourne now, 15 metres out. Now they're going to go down the left side here. Jerome Hughes gives it off to Johns. Now to Hines, all the way out to Addo Carr, who's got miles of room, and he grounds it in the corner. Easy as you like. The Melbourne winger for this game and the New South Wales winger, who had miles of space. It's 16-0 to the Melbourne Storm with a kick to come. That's uh, that's the thing though. It's it, it, with the uh, with Brisbane at the moment. It's like because the last two tries have come in like relatively quick succession. So it's the last ten minutes of this half. Have you heard George George Williams has had his release from the Raiders granted? I did hear about this. Yes, I have heard. I have heard about uh, his about his release being granted. Very 
Very interesting situation in Canberra. It's a bit of a uh, chaotic situation over there. So have, 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 have they announced um like is, is like Williams or anything said announced about where he's going to be going after this? Who's winning currently? Uh, Cody Turner is currently 16 nil to the Melbourne Storm over the Brisbane Broncos. With just about three minutes remaining in the uh, in the first half. Brilliant pass. I will say though, Cooper Jones is actually been doing pretty well so far. And now my learn who are tenth in Super League. My team in Super League are looking to sign him. Wakefield Trinity. Very interesting. One thing I do want to say, because I know Greg Inglis is actually over in the Super League playing for Warrington. He looks he's put on a bunch of weight. I've heard George is going to Manly. So there's a few rumors of where he's going around. Uh, it's like, because um, English didn't really do that much. I mean, he did score a try in the last game where he played, played Huddersfield. Cody Turner, my mate's debuting tonight for Broncos. TC Rabati. Yeah, he's been going well right off the bench, making absolutely brilliant charges. Oh, the uh, stream paused a little bit. Oh, everything's all good. So two minutes, but we are the one of the worst teams in the league. So potential, yeah, so he might be a pretty good player to come in for that, for that rebuild. And there's the kick there. It's going to shank to the left, unfortunately, there for Nico Hines. So two minutes, English is there for two months with a hamstring tear now. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he had to be pulled off in that in that uh, Huddersfield game because he had ice tapped around his hammy. So, yeah, that for two months. That's very unfortunate for uh, Greg Inglis. So two and a half minutes now remaining in this half. Who scored for Melbourne? Uh, so the first try was scored by Brandon Smith. The second one was scored by Tui Kamikamika. And the try that was just scored then was by Josh Adokar. Oh, oh no, the Broncos are fucked up here. They've kicked it out in the full. <laughs> Over the top, out of the full. So it's going to be a penalty on halfway here for Melbourne. For Melbourne to get a potentially some tries on the board. Um, The front power of my house just went out, but everything's all connected fine. Like Because the internet's out the back there, so it's still good. But yeah. that just I was wondering something because... Um, because the, there's the power things on two things. You have too many like outlets caught in the other uh, power like, overheats and just shuts itself. But so yeah, who kicked it down the full? Um, I believe it's who, who is the kicker? I think it's either Asako, Milford, or Kelly. Who would be the kicker? Oh, brilliant play here for Hines. Hines almost breaking through. Tries to get an offload, but it's been knocked down. It's going to be a knock on there. By Brisbane, it's Tavita Panga who tried to get the ball, so it's going to be a it's going to be a scrum feed now, ten meters away. Is it a Sarko? I don't know. I think it might have been. I wasn't actually looking to be completely honest. What's your best bet in the NRL this weekend, bro? Uh, the uh, the Canterbury Bulldogs to uh, pull off a yeah a plus twelve win over the Penrith Panthers. <laughs> The fiver is the is the player between the half and the center three quarters. It's all about spacing the imperial terms. Okay, that's uh, that's pretty cool. The 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 more you know. So here we go. Scrum feed. Oh, it's a scrum for Brisbane actually, not Melbourne. Interesting. Oh, because it went backwards. Okay, fair enough. So first second now. There's 35 seconds remaining. So second tackle now on the 30. Now there's 20 seconds remaining. If Brisbane want to score, they need to do something immaculate. Five eight is also called standoff. Very, very interesting. So, of, of a concept. Oh, Turpin now. There's one second. The siren is about to sound. And there it is. It is half time in this matchup, and it remains 16 0 to the Melbourne Storm. Solify, welcome, my friend. 
No chance Penrith will win 50 points. Nah, nah mate, what are you talking about? <laughs> Bro, it's obviously they're going to win. Oh, I, I think people... I saw like someone on Facebook comment about how oh, it'll, be the, it'll be the upset of the round if the Bulldogs beat Penrith. It won't be the upset of the round. It'll be the upset of like the decade. Now, how am I, how am I going? I'm going well. How are you going, uh, Solify? I'm actually just going... I'm not going to take a break. I'm just heading to the uh, kitchen to get some... Uh, to get a spoon. Oh, it's alright. We'll, we'll sort it out after the game then. Yeah. I'm really great, mate. I'm sad I'm not watching you that much. I need to watch you more. No, it's, it's all good. It's all good with that. You have no light. Yeah. Uh, so, basically, it's kind of weird how the, my house's, like, power system works. It basically, like, the lights will still work. I just have them off because of, uh, because of, uh, lighting reasons. But, um for the uh, the ring light so basically it's just a uh usually when you have too many things running because i've got like four power boards i like, beneath my like slots beneath my feet or all, all of the mechanics so i was like as we listen for the bang <laughs> so basically we got a uh i like the dark more than light yeah it's uh because i was wondering oh, oh fucking plastic everywhere so uh yeah, so it is half time. I'm I wanna do less of the like the half time breaks that I do. Yeah, so basically there's like two so where the outboard thing is, there's two switches. One's for like the front half of the house and the other half's for the back half. So the back half is would be like the back room and which which is basically our lounge room. And then like the front of the house is basically like most of the bedrooms. Which is where I'm at, so because I knew something went off because uh, the because my PlayStation was on um, rest mode and it just went completely black. It's the break. Uh, yeah, it is the break. But I'm gonna stay here because um, I I like I I do feel like the uh, the halftime breaks do kind of break momentum. I thought it'd be 32 nil by now, Stormway. Uh, it could end up being like that actually, uh, depending on how things do go. But, uh, yeah. Very interesting things have happened. Have happened. Um, so, who hell... Hang on, I'm just going to check, actually. What what other games do we have going on for the round... For this round, actually? Um, NRL competition. I hate how every time I load NRL.com, it always takes me to round 4 2020 for some reason. Uh, round 12... So tomorrow, which I I can't do any of tomorrow's games because I'm at a party, but I might do like little shorts videos or because um I would live stream on my phone of me drinking and like watching the game, but YouTube only allows it to have a thousand subs. It's it's a weird thing. Uh, do I have a PC? Uh, no, I don't. I just have a HP laptop that I that I re that I recently got not that long ago. So you got the Cowboys and the Warriors. And then the Tigers and the Dragons. That's going to be interesting, actually. Um, I would say the Warriors, but the, the Cowboys have actually had a, had a really big, good, a good bit of form, actually, to be fair. 
So I'm not exactly too sure. You're getting subs fast. Uh, yeah, it's definitely... Uh, it has been... Oh, we, we did actually hit uh, 500 subs. I did get an email from YouTube celebrating it. Broncos have their chances now. It's going to be a blowout, 100%. That is uh, probably what is going to end up happening, unfortunately, to the Broncos. I think Tigers are going to win because Dragons have too many players out. That That is... Yeah, well, I actually wouldn't. I wouldn't be shocked seeing it happen. So, yeah, I think I, I probably think the Tigers might actually pull out a win. I think probably the Cowboys will get a win. Like I know for for so in terms of sport bet, the Warriors are the favourites, a dollar seventy one to two fifteen. But um, but yeah, I think the Cowboys probably have. They're going to continue their good form. Then you got Saturday, which I will be doing some of the games. Do you think the Eels will win against the Rabbitohs? Um, I think I think so. I think Parramatta should should bounce back and beat South Sydney because South Sydney are in a bit of a, a bit of a shock state. Obviously, they did get belted by Penrith, but then again, who hasn't? Um, so yes, yeah, so I do think that Parramatta will beat uh, the Rabbitohs. Panthers Bulldogs. Look, as a Dragons fan, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Uh, okay, so with the um the Penrith Bulldogs game, like I know I I want the Bulldogs to win so badly because it would be the greatest thing to ever happen. That the the team that's been undefeated all season, eleven and zero, and it's broken to the streak by the team that's coming in last place. That would be it would be amazing, but oh, I don't know if it's gonna happen or not. Then you got the Roosters and the Rabbit uh, and the Raiders. Sorry, that's going to be an interesting one too. It's going to be at Gosford actually. It's only an hour away, actually. To be fair, um, I do know the Roosters did have that shock loss against the uh, the the Broncos last week. I do feel it did have a bit of an effect of uh, with uh, their players being out at the moment. At the moment. Mason Kurtz, uh, who do you go for in the NRL? I go for the uh, Newcastle Knights. I'm a man from the region. <laughs> I think Penrith are going to get the most points scored in football history. Yeah, I'm actually going to check that. Most points in an NRL season. I think that might be Parramatta, actually. NRL season by team. <sighs> but no, in, in, uh, most points in NRL season... No, by team. Which team has scored the most points in the season? Uh, most points... Most points scored by a team in a season? Yeah, it is. Eight, 839 points by the Parramatta Eels. That is the current record. Oh, oh, most points scored in a game. Oh, okay. I think it was like a 91 nil game, at, I think, at some point back in the day. Like the biggest margin. Most points scored by one team in a game was 91 to 6. It was St. George back in the 30s against the Bulldogs. This one will be interesting, though. Best start to a season. So Penrith are currently third in that with 11. If they win against the Bulldog, if they win, they will tie South, who are in second. So the current record for best start to a season is 15 wins by Manly in 1995. So yeah, that's a record that they could be looking for. Oh, this is an interesting one. So there's actually a list of undefeated teams in a season. And the last one that that, that happened was 1959. So if Penrith do go on to be undefeated throughout the entire season, they will be basically the first team to be in it since 1959. So that would be 62 years. For those who, for teams who are wondering about, so it was 1915 was Balmain, 1921 North Sydney, 1925 South Sydney, 
1936 and 1937 Eastern Suburbs, aka the Sydney Roosters, and 1959 St George, which doesn't actually shock me because of um, St George during that period was like mid 50s to mid 60s, like won like 11 straight titles, so it doesn't exactly shock. Hmm. I should be a Newcastle fan because I live in Newcastle. No, it doesn't have to be the case because I do know. A bunch of mates, I have a lot of mates who, are, who have lived here all their lives, but because of like family members support other teams like the Tigers, Manly and stuff like that. Maybe they'll be like the 07 Patriots go and beat in the regular season, but come Super Bowl time, it's a loss. I was thinking about that as well. Yeah, the uh, when they lost to the Giants. In fact, I was saying they are beatable. I think the finals will be Storm versus Penrith. Yeah, I oh I wouldn't be shocked if that happens again. It could be like the the version of the 0708 Grand Final series when it was Manly in Melbourne, where both teams traded wins in those grand finals. Wouldn't shock me at all. But uh, yeah, so it'd be very um one thing I was thinking of though, because they are currently most of my family goes for the dragon, so yeah, that's that's where that that ma- that makes completely s- complete sense. That's uh that, that you would support the Dragons. It's not like you support the Dragons like for no reason. It's like you've actually got family members. I've been going for the Dragons my whole life, so yeah. It's kind of like with my family, because my... It's interesting because my family have actually been rugby league fans before the Knights came in. So originally, most of my family members supported Para, and then a few of them supported Manly, but then 1988, the Knights came in, and they all supported the Newcastle team, so... Yeah, if the Knights didn't come in, it would be very interesting. I could be a Parramatta fan or a Manly fan. Very easily. I mean, then again, I could have been a uh, Hunter Mariners fan in the Super League. But that's no longer a thing anymore in the, uh, the in Australia. Storm have made so many grand finals recently, it's kind of annoying. Yeah. <laughs> They are the uh, the the they are the uh, Australian version of the New England Patriots. They are the evil empire, but uh, I don't think there really hasn't really been an era in rugby league where uh, there hasn't been teams like dominating all the time. If I do switch and go for the Knights, but I don't think I'll switch because no. No matter how bad your team is going, you still go for your team. Yeah, like I, like I was, I was a member of the Knights. I'm not a member anymore. I was a member of the Knights during like the darkest period of our, our of our existence. You just don't switch teams because your team is losing. Yeah, I'd like to see the Eels and Panthers for the final. I think that'd be a really good one. The other uh, both Western Sydney teams in the uh, the final would actually be a very good thing to see. So yeah, like, I was a member from like the 15, 16, 17 season when the Knights got the wooden spoon three times in a row, but it's it just kind of like a, like, what else could you do? Uh, just uh, the moment Storm have now walked onto the field, Brisbane are about to walk on as well. So we are getting ready to be underway for the second half. I'm actually going to put my ice cream back in the fridge because I'm not going to eat it. I used to go for the Knights, but too many losing seasons in a row, so I don't go for anyone now. Yeah, that's fair enough. I want Knights Bulldogs in the grand final. <laughs> that, would, that would be an amazing grand final. I think I said in my predictions last year for the finals, I think it was like, I want Knight Sharks because they, like, they were 7th and 8th. Somehow wrap up my ice cream so it stays cool. Because we've got it getting ready now for the second half of this matchup. I think Dragons at that middle team, yeah. So there's the kickoff there by Brisbane who are running to the right of the screen. And there's the kickoff there. That's number 20. That is Aaron Penne who makes it to the 15 for the first tackle. Roop Club say go Panthers. Go the Panthers. There's Kamikamika now. He gets the second tackle now on the 25. Do you think the Knights will make the finals this season? No, they won't. Uh, Daniel Bate, thank you for uh, <laughs> subscribing. Welcome to the. Uh, what, what do we call? What do we call ourselves? Do you go to the Panthers? Ah, uh, no, I don't. I go for Newcastle. 
If I play for 40, I'll remember you. <laughs> Cheers, man. So here's now the uh, last tackle that's going to be on the Brisbane 40 now. Here's it comes the kick here from Melbourne. We need... What do we call ourselves? Like, you know how, like, Pity... They should with the squad they have, though, the Knights, I mean. Like, like, on paper, the Knights have, like, the... Have arguably one of the better squads, but it's like... As we all know, on paper doesn't mean shit in league, because it's actually what happens on the field. So, second tackle now. It was on the 35. Here comes the third. Oh, brilliant. Matthew Gidley flick. Oh, it's a knock on there by Brisbane. And now Jennings has picked it up here. He's just going to run straight into the try zone. Or whatever the hell that's called. And 90 seconds in, Melbourne have scored. And George Jennings has gotten the fourth try for Melbourne. So it's 20-0, just like that. A knock on there by Brisbane. And straight off that, George Jennings just picks it up and runs for the easiest try. He'll probably score of his career. My team is the Eels. Oh, that's... Jason Pemmel, that's very cool to hear. They are missing Pierce to 100%. Is this the only game tonight? Uh, yes, that is the only game on tonight. Uh, Mason Curse, thank you for subbing. Uh, what do we call ourselves? We like I know how like channels have like specific names for their viewers. So you, can, so you know like PewDiePie had like the Bro Army. Uh, fuck, what are other ones that they have? Who do you think will go to the grand final? Um, if I was going off my uh, my preseason predictions. I said it would be South Penrith, <laughs> so but uh, I do feel like it, I I think it'll be probably Penrith Melbourne again. Would like to see Penrith Para though. I think that'd be a very cool grand final. Grand final to watch. So it's just passing by Brisbane, and it's a knock on. It's just falling to the feet of George, and he just picks it up and grounds it easy as you like. It's gonna. I think it's gonna start looking very nasty as a Brisbane. Can you do a live stream for the Eels Rabbits game? Yeah. yeah. We'll be the Hanson brothers. Actually, you know what? The Hansons. Uh, <laughs> what up, fellow Hansons? <laughs> it's your boy. Oh, why the fuck did I do that? That's fucking weird. As the kick converted there by Nico Hines, it's 22 nil. 22 points to nil with three minutes into the second half. The PCP army of Zach. Basically, uh, uh, Eels Rabbits game, I might be able to. Yeah, 530, yeah, I should be able to on Saturday. I should be sober by then. Well, do we call ourselves the Mboppers for naming after Hanson's favorite song? I versus Windale last week, and we won 48 to 48 to six, and I scored full field, and I scored full field. We got West Maitland this week, and coming, they're coming first, we're coming second. Big clashes. Big season clashes. That's what you, you live to see. So here's the first second there on Melbourne now. Just shy of the 20. Now they're going to go up to uh, the 25. Now the second. Eisenhoof is on the bench here. So I feel like his night is over. Fucking wind down there. Holy shit. That's a fucking scary place. Scary, scary place to see a team play. Oh, big charging run there by Kafusi. Making it just shy of halfway now for the fourth tackle for Melbourne. Oh, they've got numbers here. Hines now. Hines going himself. He's found a massive gap. He's got numbers as well over the top. And it's going to be a try to Cooper Johns. And Cooper Johns has got his first try for Melbourne. And his first try in his NRL career. Matthew Johns' son has gotten a try. I'm happy for him. Good on, good on Cooper Johns. He's, and I've got to think, of footy, the Manny Johns show, if it's on tonight, he'll have a great moment there with his younger son scoring a try. It's a great game when first and second play together. Yeah, 100%. It's, uh, even in any spot, it's those games that everyone's like, oh, fuck, this is going to be interesting. Brilliant run there by Hines, who sees the, uh, the lineup there for Cooper Johns. Getting his first try of his career. Good on him. Bit of a character. 
For, uh, of course, Cooper Johns' dad is Matthew Johns, and his, uh, that means his uncle would be Andrew Johns, so good on him. It's it naked time, yeah. It's time to, basically, this is just, which team do you think finally beat Penrith? Um, I feel like if Melbourne, if they play in Melbourne, I think in Melbourne, I think Melbourne should beat them. Wouldn't be surprised if Parra do it as well, because Parra play them in a couple of weeks, don't they? Windale are trash. They are dirty. They bite one of our players, and one of it, and one of the Windale players got sent off at under thirteens. How sad is that? <laughs> That's Windale for you. <laughs> Windale's basically the uh, the Compton of uh, of the of the the Hunter region. So there's the kick over the top there for Hines. It's now 28 nil to Melbourne. Five and a half minutes gone. This is... I, I honestly... I'm going to say this right now. I think Melbourne are going to score 50 on them. Did you play footy when you were little? Um, I didn't play football. Actually, I played soccer. So from 7 to 9. And then I played 15, 16, 17s and 18s. So, uh, I did play like one game for like a. Uh, I played one game for like my school, but uh, yeah, never played league. It's too much of a pussy. Oh, Penny almost breaking through there for the first charge from the kickoff on the 25 for the first tackle. And now number 15, that is Tui Kamikamika, makes it to the 35 for the second tackle. Now Smith. Oh! It's a knock on there by Melbourne. Now Brisbane have got the ball here. It's Farnworth now, who gets brought down 35 metres left from the try line. You're sexy. I'm not getting naked on stream, no. You wouldn't like it. I'm an Eels fan, but, but fear they're going to suffer a slide down the ladder. That depends. Who do, who do Parramatta actually play? Ne who do they play this round? Oh, yeah, they play the, the Rabbitohs. I think they should be able to bounce back against the Rabbitohs. As that is Jesse Arthurs now, 15 minutes away from the try line now for the second tackle. Brisbane have got a score here if they want any thought of a comeback. So Payne Haas now has got the ball, 15 metres away now, third tackle. <laughs> they go down the lines here. Oh, Tavita Pangai trying to get a pass off and now Farnworth has picked it up inside the 10. This would be a great game if Broncos didn't suck. Yeah, that is uh, going to. Fourth tackle now. Pangai Jr. now trying to charge through. Oh, he needs an offload. He got an offload here. It's number five. That's David Mead. And he'll get brought down five minutes away. Last tackle here for Brisbane. It's Turpin. And, Bl and Jake Turpin has scored. Brisbane have scored. So seven and a half minutes gone. Brisbane finally get the first try of the game. Of their game. Uh, Gary Antonio, who do you think is the best winger in the NRL at the moment? Um. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Jake Turpin's fucking bloodied. I've never seen that much blood before in the modern game. He's literally... His face is, expl like, exploded with blood. Is it Jake Tur I don't think it's Jake Turpin. What's happened? <gasps> so it's a try there by uh, uh, it wasn't Jake Turpin sorry but basically it was a try there for Brisbane and Hetherington has come in to celebrate and I, I think it was either his knee or his boot has basically clipped his nose and now he's got a massive blood problem <laughs> blood coming out of his nose but Jesus Christ it was like everywhere on his face it is a conversion attempt it's successful so it's now 28 to 6 what an eventful first half. So that's number 14, actually. Kobe Hetherington, who got the try. I'm a Broncos fan, but fear. So Hetherington has gotten the try. And Turpin's come in, and his knees collided straight to his nose. And he's had to come off to basically see what's going on. He's like, everyone's coming in, it's like, oh, what, what the fuck? As Buck, the, uh, the... The Broncos running around. What the f Hang on. If Brisbane were allowed to do that, then why are the Knights allowed to do have that, that old Knight bloke? He was cool. Bring him back. Where is he? 
So now, nine, eight and a half minutes gone now. Oh, big charge now. And it's a first tackle now, Brisbane inside the 10. So there's been three tries in 10 minutes in, so far in this second half. So very interesting bit of play going on at the moment. And they're going to get down the right side here, Brisbane. I think Brisbane top three next year. Are they getting a new coach? Um, I don't know. I I don't know. I'd I, I'd like if they um they keep Walters. I think Walters is a because you need like stability with like coaches so they can like rebuild and like maybe like a year or two time they could be in the uh in the top. You could just look at Parramatta a couple of years ago. Like one year they came dead last. The next season they made it straight to the finals. Now Brisbane now make it inside Melbourne's half now. So now 40 metres out. Last tackle here for Brisbane. There's Kelly with the kick. It's up in the air. It's, I think it's been picked up. Is that Ado Carr? No, I believe that is Jennings. You got it there. Uh, the Root Club, who is my favourite NRL team? That would be the Newcastle Knights. So second tackle now for Melbourne now on the 25. Here comes Ado Carr. Who now makes it to the 35 for the third tackle. I pass over the top now. It's Nick Hines now. He's, Nico Hines has got the ball. And Hines has run through a gap here. But, but it is a lateral gap. So he now makes it to the 45 inside of the half of the first tackle. Last tackle now for Melbourne now. 40 metres out from the try line. And there's the kick. Uh, Bass Reese, thank you for subscribing, my friend. Welcome to the uh, to the Mboppers. <laughs> Will we get used to it? No, we won't. Uh, big pass over the top here for Brisbane. Oh, it's Milford. Oh, that's a lot of passes. And out her car has been it's dragged down David Mead. No, it's not David Mead. It's Savio Coates, actually. Forced Brisbane all the way back inside their 10. Jevin, uh, Jevin says, uh, try celebrations are over the top. Someone will get a bad injury from these pylon players. To, yeah, actually, um, in ninety the ninety seven grand final where um Darren Albert scores a try for the Knights to win, all the players like piled onto him, and he actually um broke one of his ribs because of all the players hopping onto him. So yeah, it is actually a bit of a uh, interesting situation. Uh, the Rube Club, thank you very much for subbing. Thank you all very much for uh. Choosing to to uh click on on, on this <laughs> as uh, that's Hines who's gotten the ball from the kick forty on the forty five for the first tackle. Here comes Josh Addo Carr now, who now makes it to the forty five inside the other half. Number seventeen for Brisbane. That is us, T C Rabadi. I believe he's either coming on, he's coming back on. I believe. So forty meters out now, Melbourne, for the third tackle. The subs are coming in now. Oh yeah, so fourth tackle now for Melbourne now, just shy of 30 metres away. They're going to go down the left side here. That is Cooper Johns now, who's gotten the ball. He's going to be brought down on the 20 for the first tackle. Brisbane interchange, Payne Haas is coming off for Bullymore. So now last tackle here, Brandon Smith, a pass over the top to Nico Hines. And Nico Hines beats, and he goes right through the dip and goes under the black dot and scores. It's another try to Melbourne. Nick Hines has gone brilliant here. And it's good to see his performing. I've have seen his uh his uh interview he did with Matthew Johns. Very compelling stuff he did. Do you swear on stream? Ah. Uh, I try not to, but I do occasionally let up a, sw a swear like a little bit. I'd say I'm a wacky PG thirteen or T B fourteen. But but uh yeah. Brilliant try there for Nico Hines. There's a pass through over the top. Nico Hines gets there, steps and beats uh, Jermaine Asako, and he will get his try. What video games do I play? Um, most of the moments a bit of I I go through phases when I play video games. So it's like I play FIFA for a bit, then NBA 2K21 for a bit, then GTA for a bit, uh, then Four Guys for some reason, uh, Fortnite. It's, it's a bit weird, so I don't... So, those are the kinds of games I play. 
Abel Mataria, thank you for subscribing. I do like the... Uh, I, I, I have actually... I have two gifts. Uh, this is one of my favourite. It's uh, Danny Levi doing... Uh, pulling up the shackers. But um, I did realise I kind of need to update that because uh, Danny Levi doesn't play for the Knights anymore. He plays for Brisbane now. But no, I like it. Yeah, the other... I hate Fortnite. It's just boring. Uh, I've got a mate who play... He do, he, who plays... And it's just like... Uh, but, Rick up. Am I single? Uh, yeah, it, I I am single, but uh, I like it that way at the moment. You know, just uh, so it was a brilliant pass there from Brandon Smith over to Nico Hines. So how long have we got to go? We haven't got that long to get. No, we, oh, we do have a bit to go. We've got 25 minutes. 26 minutes, actually. Oh, I'm single. <laughs> it's it's alright. So now Melbourne now with this win, they will go two points behind Penrith. Obviously, Penrith still have to play. So, yeah, inter interesting stuff. So, here's the second tackle. That's Justin Olam there. Makes it to the 25 for the second tackle. I don't need women in my life. Yeah, those are just like during your teen years. It's overrated. And now that's, uh, I think it's, I think it's number 16. I think that's Trent Loyero. No, it's Chris Lewis, actually, sorry. I saw a shooting star. That's, uh... That's pretty cool, man. <laughs> Nico Hines now. It's going off to the line. It's now Remus Smith. I saw a uh, shooting star. I saw a shooting star when I was at the Ocean Bars in Newcastle. I was like, fuck yeah. This is sick. Oh, they're trying to drag him out. And they do. So, Breezeman are going to get the ball here. Just short of halfway here. Still 25 minutes to go. So, Nico Hines got the ball. But he ends up getting dragged out. The thing is, so it's like, if they, if they're able to keep Milford and they have Milford and Reynolds when he comes next season, that'd be very interesting. You live in Newcastle, ah, uh, I, I live I live near the area. I live in um. I live in the Hunter region, but I'm, like, relatively close to Newcastle because I go there all the time. With the room club sus. What the hell, the room club sus. Yeah, so I come to Newcastle nearly all, uh, all the time, actually. Because that's where everything is. So third tackle now. They're 40 metres over the trial line now. Brisbane is a charge here. Oh, brilliant feeding pass now. Milford, 20 metres... No, uh, Sasako, 20 metres away from the trial line. Fourth tackle. Asiata now. Shakes off two tackles. Gets a pass off to Kelly. Kelly's still going. He's going to get brought down on the 15. Last tackle here for Brisbane. They're 15 metres away. Now Milford. Milford goes for a grub. But that's a... Oh! Oh! And it's a try to Brisbane. Number four. That is Jesse Arthur's. All of the Melbourne players just sat there waiting. And all of a sudden, Jesse Arthur... Dives through and gets the try. All of the Melbourne players were playing ball, watching the ball. I thought it was a very terrible grubber there by Osako. But it was Cooper Johns, uh, Addo Carr, and Nico Hines just looking at the ball. And just like that, Jesse Arthurs has dived over and has gone to try here for Brisbane. I love the beach in Newcastle. Yeah. The beach do be pretty good. It is a very... Uh, So just like that, now it's 10 to 10.34 now with a kick to come. They're playing Chelsea Dagger. For in, if it has the song, uh, Chicago Black Hawks are uh, goal horn. Good on them. I can, I can stay here now. So Jermaine Osako now with the kick. This to make it a 22-point game. 
And he has nailed the kick. So 22 minutes remaining. T there is a chance. They can come back up. Oh, I do see a guy in a Dragons jersey. Good on him. Okay, that is some big news. Payne Haas has potentially picked up a knee injury in the game. He toughed it out in the first half, but he is, his night is done. That could be big news in deciding the Blues team. That's big. So the question is, though, is who would they bring if Payne Haas can't play? Oh, there's probably like a bunch of forwards you could bring in. Saifidi brothers, even. So here comes the second tackle here for Brisbane. That is uh, not Farnworth. That's there's number. I think it's Pangai. Now Brisbane. Now I've got numbers on their side here. Oh, brilliant! Oh my God! Surely something happened. Uh, who got injured? Uh, no one got injured. Olin basically got up. I think it was Arthur who jumped for the ball, and Olin picked up the ball and slammed him into the ground. But it like it was like a rolling one. So it's going to be a penalty to Brisbane for putting for ju on Justin Olam. Basically, put him onto his like higher back bit and rolled him. So it is a bit of a dangerous position. So it's going to be a so it's a penalty to Brisbane. No no sin bin, however. As is Dale Finuake. So Justin Olam's on report. I think it'd be very harsh if he was sin binned. So here comes the. Uh, no, you're, not, you're an ass guy. Thank, thank you so far. I try to be. <laughs> so 35 meters out now. Brisbane with a chance to get a try on the board. That is number 11. That That, that is uh, Palacio. Now this is Flegler. For the second tackle. He brought down on the 20. Now here comes Kelly. Gives it off to Milford. He's given off to Osako. Osako is met by Jerome Hughes and uh, Kafusi. So now third tackle. They're inside the 10. Oh, that's number 14. That is Hetherington. No, it's 16. That's actually uh, Bullimore. Still five minutes over the trial line now. Fourth tackle. They've got an offload on the ground there. Now Flegler's picked up the ball. And Flegler's now 13 metres open the trial line now. Last tackle here for Brisbane. Turpin goes down the right. Here's Milford. Milford back to Turpin. Now to Kelly. Kelly with the kick. It's high in the air. And it's going to bounce just before the line and out. So it's going to be a scrum feed to the storm inside the tent. Have I ever been to Disneyland? Ah, uh, no. I have not been to Disneyland. Unfortunately, would like to go. Just eating chocolate while watching your face. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it do be like that sometimes. So now here's the play. George Jennings takes the first hit up and makes it to the 25 for the first tackle. And it's going to be actually a penalty here to Melbourne. So it's pressure on the neck. What did I miss? Oh, horses scored twice. Ah, uh, yeah. The, so Kobe Hetherington got a try, then immediately... Uh, one of the uh, Brisbane players had to cu uh, come in to celebrate and his knee accidentally clipped Hetherington getting up on his nose and basically caused a lot of blood. And then Jesse Arthur's got a try. So, yeah. So, pressure on the neck. Penalty. So, Ethan Bullimore is now on report for Brisbane. So, Justin Olam now will take the charge for the first hit-up. He's now 35 metres away from the try line for the first tackle. Here's a second. Oh, here's a second tackle. Potential set reset here. Jesse Bromwich now. Bromwich almost breaking through fully there, but he's now five meters over the try line now for the third tackle. Now Brandon Smith. Smith goes himself, and he's gonna score. Brandon Smith has got himself a double, 
And with 18, just under 18 minutes remaining, that makes it 38 to 12. Fortnite is dead now. Yeah. But I, I kind of like it when it's dead, so you don't have, like, everybody, like, being sweats. And it's just, when you play with your mates, it's a very cool thing. Because like, I have a mate who makes, who plays Fortnite for, like, streaming and shit. And, uh, yeah, it's fun. It's, it is dead, but it, it, it's fun. I mean, I, I mean, I, I played four. I played four guys, and they, you, you talk about a game being dead, but. So uh, that is Brendan. That is the big cheese's second double of his career. My one crackdown would be to make sure every player plays the ball after being, after being uh, tackled with the four. No compromise. Oh yeah, no compromise. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that is a bit annoying. I was a sweat. I could, I could triple at it. Being tackled with the kick. No, the front power went out like an half an hour. Oh, yeah, because the front house power went out. Uh, all right. Okay, we're back. <sighs> so, oh, there's a kickoff. So we just made it just back in time. There we are. The power's now starting to come back on. I just have to go outside and flick the switch. So, 40 points to 12. There's the second tackle. And Brandon Smith has knocked it on, unfortunately, there. So, <laughs> fuck me. So it's going to be a scrum feed 30 metres away from the try line. You're fast. I'm fast. Yeah, but I, I'm not fast for long. <laughs> I've got the lung capacity of a of a bloody snap of a bloody. Oh, I don't know. A tank. So thirty meters over the try line now. The uh, Brisbane have got a scrum here from the knock on by Brandon Smith. Here's a fine work for the ball. And he gets brought down 25 metres away from the try line for the first tackle. Now they've got to go down. Left side, that's Flegler. You'll probably run 100 metres under 10. No, I can't. <laughs> Believe me, I can't. Oh, pass out the line. Oh, he tried to go for the uh, the winger, the uh, David Mead, but it's gone out over the... Dead, over the... Uh, the, the touch line, so it's going to be a possession change here for the Melbourne Storm. Unfortunate. Oh, it was a right idea for Tavita, but it was just too high for Mead. Brandon Smith now coming off the field. So now Melbourne have gotten the ball back here, so here's the first hit up for Melbourne. Do you know Minecraft YouTubers? Uh, yeah, I watch them. I, I, I watch. I, I watch them a lot back in the day, like you know, Skyder's Minecraft, uh, Ant Venom, and shit like that. Oh, there's a swear. Here's, here's a big charge here for a server Solomona here. Makes it to the 35, I believe. 
for the uh, third tackle. Jerome Hughes now breaking through. He's breaking through a massive gap here. He's got numbers. It's the number 14. It's Booth who gets brought down 10 metres away from the try line now for the fourth tackle. Now Melbourne. Now Hines. Goes for an early grubber kick. And it's a oh, big jockeying there by David Mead. And allows it to run out. So it'll be a 20 metre restart for the Brisbane Broncos. Fucking hell, Melbourne are just too good at bursting for with the line bursts. So Brisbane now, that's Avia Coates with the first hit up for the zero. And here's the second one, that's Farworth. He makes it to the 40 for the first tackle. Now they're going to go down the right here. It's Turpin who's given the ball off to... Palacio who makes it to the 45. So if I, I hate Storm. I would say you are not alone, my friend. So Tavita Pangon makes a pass to the 40 for the third tackle. Now Ketherington. And there's a strip there. As with stripped there by Sova Solomona. So it's a double knock on. Brisbane knocked it on first. So it's going to be a scrum feed here to the Storm. Who makes it to the 30 inside of the, of the uh, Storm half. But it's going to be a captain's challenge here by Brisbane. So it wasn't a strip, it was a loose carry. So what's happening? So the challenge is unsuccessful there for Brisbane, so the Storm will get a scrum feed. On their 30 for the f for a new set with 12 and a half minutes remaining in this match. Just got a notification: the Wildcats versus the Kings. The basketball. I always want the Storm to lose. Yeah, it'd be like that. It'd be like that sometimes. So here comes the uh, the scrumbies. So the Storm's next five games have got the Titans at home, the Warriors away, the Tigers at home, the Roosters away, and then a bye. Very interesting to see how the Titans will go against the Storm. The Broncos' next five are the Dragons away, the Raiders away, the Rabbitohs at home, the Sharks at home, and then a bye in round 17. As Bromwich now makes it to the 30 inside of the Brisbane half. Oh, they've got numbers on the side here, Brisbane. Pass out a car with a grubber, but it's come off a Brisbane player and it's going to go out. So it's going to be a scrum feed here for the uh, for the Melbourne Storm, 10 metres over the try line. What conspiracy theories do I believe in? Um, I don't believe in any, to be fair. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think I believe in any, to be fair. I'm interested in the ideas of them, but not. I don't actually believe in any of, in any of them, unfortunately. So it's going to be a possession for Melbourne here, ten meters out. This to well and truly seal the game. It's Jerome Hughes gives it off to Felice Kafusi, who gets brought down inside the ten for the first tackle. And now Jesse Bromwich trying to go himself, but he gets brought down just short of the line. Now for the second tackle. Now Booth's given off to Jerome Hughes. And it's a... Oh, Kafusi just short of the line. And a quick play. Now it's Jerome Hughes. Now it's uh, Hines. Hines still going. 
And to get brought down on the 10 now for the fourth tackle. Now they're going to go down the uh, right side here, Jerome Hughes. Hughes still going. Gets a pass off to Penne. Now it's off to Bromwich. Oh, oh it's a Sava Solomona, sorry. And he's given the ball straight to a Brisbane player. And he's going to get brought down on the 15 for the first tackle. Knots will get 50 points, I think. Against Manly. I think maybe maybe 50 points conceded against them, but uh, I don't know. I mean, we do actually go really well in the Indigenous jerseys, so who knows. Now, the Brisbane are now just shy of their 40 for the fourth tackles. We're currently now under the last 10 minutes of the game. Flegler with an offload now. I believe that is Farnworth. Who will get brought down just shy of halfway. Last tackle. Oops, not Knights. I meant Storm. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think the Storm might get him. Manly have always had the wood on the Knights. Yeah. Oh, the kick. Oh, Farnworth's gotten the ball. But it's going to be one-on-one. -on -one. And it's going to be a change over here for Melbourne on their 20. There's uh, George Jennings now, makes it to the 25. Now that is uh, Josh Addo Carr, now makes it to the 40. And now Jerome Hughes, now to Hines. Hines trying to break through here. Hines makes, re Hines makes really good meters for his size. You streaming and drinking tomorrow? Uh, no, I'm not, unfortunately, Antonio. I might... Uh, what I might do... Because I'm at a party, so I will be drinking but not streaming. I might do like... Oh, to charge through a server Solomon almost breaking through now. 15 minutes over the try line now. Melbourne Storm. Hughes. Goes to Olam. He tries to get a pass out of car, but it's gone out. I think it came off a Brisbane player, but I'm not too sure. Um, Might do an Instagram live. Maybe I might link my... Because in most of my videos, I have a link to my Instagram, so I could go live there. And get drunk and hopefully not see anything that will cancel me because I doubt I will. So it's going to be possession change. It's going to be Brisbane and he's the first tackle now on the 15. Eight minutes now remaining in this matchup. Do a stream on the phone while you're drinking problem solved. I would. That would be the solution, but I can't do that on YouTube because you need a thousand subs to actually stream on your phone for some reason because they changed it after... I think it was in result of what happened in Christchurch with that whole terrible situation that happened over there back in back in 2019 now Kelly now Kelly almost breaking through here as he'll make it to halfway for the fourth tackle I'm gonna go mate see you Storm probably gonna win yeah <laughs> see, you, see you mate yeah see you Solify now that's number 14 that is Aaron Booth no it's not Harrington sorry now 30 meters away from the trial line now last tackle here for Brisbane here's the kick from Kelly Oh, and it's gone back, wild back here. I don't think it's a six more. Still last tackle. They've gone the other side here. Tavita Pangai now. He's trying to go inside. He's got an offload here to Turpin. But Turpin will be brought down. No, it is a set restart, actually. Did that guy stream on YouTube? I don't think he streamed on YouTube, but he streamed on other things. And YouTube just like, all right, we're doing this just to prevent anything like that happening. Jermaine Osaka now tries to get a ball now. 15 minutes over the trial line. RC Rabat, TC Rabati. And oh, Kelly almost breaking through there. Third tackle. Five minutes over the trial line. Turpin tries to get a pass off. And now just shy 10 meters away from the line. Brisbane now. Fourth tackle. And they try to kick, it was a lot of pressure, and it's a shit kick. So it's going to be a 20 minute restart here for Melbourne as we've got six minutes remaining. So, yeah, it was also like, um, there was a, because everybody used to be like, but with the, um, YouTube, with um, being in the partner program, needing a thousand subs and, uh, four thousand watch hours, that was actually after the, um, the uh, Logan Paul Japanese vlog. That was the reason why that was implemented. It was it was 
because of that. And I remember thinking, it's like, so why does it, when a big creator make, does a big mistake, you gotta do that to small creators? So I think it's like a kind of, like a, re you know, so can review, like, the actual content, so. Yeah, so second tackle on here now for Melbourne. On their 45 now, and he's number 15. That is uh, Tua Kamikamika. Oh, Hughes with a brilliant pass. Brilliant short pass to Hines, and Hines is, uh, I think he's done his hammy. Oh, it's just a little cramp, so you're going to get Aaron Booth to stretch it out. I mean, it, Logan versus Floyd, who you got? <laughs> I mean, obviously Floyd's going to win, but uh, I would like to see Logan do it, because I would like to see the, uh, the entire uh, boxing world literally fold itself in half and uh, lose its mind, lose its com com uh, complete mind. And it was a grubber kick there by Melbourne, and he has forced uh, number two, Xavier Coates, into the uh, the mouth. So it's going to be a goal line dropout for Brisbane as uh, Nico Hines still stretching that uh, that cramp. Oh man, dark day for boxing if Logan wins. It'd be, it, I just think it'd be really funny. <laughs> I'll be one of those people who will watch the world burn. So we're now under four minutes now remaining in this match. And that's number 15. That is uh, Kimi Kamika. Makes it to the 30 for the first tackle. In terms of run meters, Melbourne have over 500 more than Brisbane. And they're going to go down the left, the right side here. That's number three. That is Remus Smith. Makes it to the 15 now. I know someone that believes it's rigged for Logan. That'd be interest, interesting. Now, Kafusi makes it inside the 10 for the third tackle. Now, they're going to go down the left side here. Jesse Bromwich now trying to break through, but it'll be held just short of the line for the fourth tackle. Oh, he's gone for an early kick. So it's an accidental offside here. So it's going to be a penalty to Melbourne. <laughs> if Logan does win, it probably is rigged. I don't know, because I know like when the Jake Paul Ben Askren fight happened, everybody said it was rigged. But um I actually watched a video because um Shayna Baszler, who is a former UFC fighter who's now in WWE, actually talked about saying, Oh, was it rigged? and basically said Ben Askren like literally got knocked the fuck out and he failed like the protocol to prove that you're completely okay. So here's a scrum feed now for, for Melbourne now. 10 metres out. Pass out to George Jennings. And Jennings gets held short. That's good defence there by Brisbane. And it's a penalty to Melbourne for break, for Brisbane breaking early from the scrum. So they're gonna are they gonna redo they're gonna redo the scrum. I watch Askin versus Jake Love on YouTube for free. Yeah, same. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't. No, no, I did not. That was a joke. I don't want to get sued. Because <laughs> apparently uh, there's a thing with Hatree Hatree who on his um, podcast stated that he pirated the stream and there's a big lawsuit happening with people who illegally restreamed it. Now there's another scrum feed. Now, Tavita Panga actually broke early, but the referee missed it. So now, 1 minute 20 remaining here. First tackle just inside the 10 now, Melbourne. Now, Cooper Johns now gets brought down on the 10 for the second tackle. And now that's Penne. Makes it in the side of the 5 now. Third tackle. There's a minute to go here. Can Melbourne get one more try? Jerome Hughes now to Hines. Hines, yeah, Hines, gets it to uh, Remus Smith. Fourth tackle here for Melbourne. Now Jerome Hughes. They go down the side. Justin Olam now. Olam going for himself and he's just short of the line. Now 
And there's a last tackle here to kick over the top here for Melbourne. It's been taken by Jerome Hughes, who's gotten a flick back pass. Now George Jennings has gotten the ball. Now Jennings is going to send it all the way back up. Now Cooper Johns has got the ball. Now it's given back to Bromwich. Who's back, they're back to the 20. They're near to the 30. And now it's a kick by Cooper Johns. And it's going to be taken there by Kelly. With 10 seconds remaining, he'll be brought down on the 10 for the first tackle. This will be the last tackle of the game. And Melbourne have come off with another landmark win. This is their ninth win in a row. Oh, it's their 10th oh, against uh, Brisbane at Suncorp. There it is. The final score. The Brisbane Broncos 12. The Melbourne Storm 40. This was here, John Burke Saga. I hated the Broncos since 2011 after my ex and I was supposed to fly up to Suncorp to watch my beloved Sharks take on those dogs and ask me what happened next. Uh, what what happened, uh, John? Oh, I'm, I'm assuming she uh, she broke up with you. The ex, I'm assuming, is the guess. Uh, Gary, Gary, another good stream. Don't drink too heavy tomorrow. I can't promise that, but uh, thank you for uh, saying it was a good stream. Save it for, sa save it for Saturday, yep. Yeah. I will be saving it for Saturday. So yeah, Melbourne now with nine wins in a row, which means they go two points behind uh, the Penrith Panthers. Obviously, Penrith still have to play against uh, the Bulldogs, which should be a very interesting matchup, to say the very least. Um, if, if the Bulldogs win, it'll be the greatest victory in that club's history. Like, yeah, the 2004 Grand Final, yeah, it was, it was pretty... No. It, it'll be... This win will be more important uh, than uh, the 2004 Grand Final. You'll be back Saturday? Ah, uh, yes, I will be back on Saturday. I should be able to do the, the three games. First game kicks off at 3pm, so I should be able to do that. And I should do the uh, the two games on Sunday, which is... Actually, I actually need to check because I actually don't know. It is the Sharks, Titans, and the Knights of Manly. I'm not looking forward to the Knights of Manly game. I am not looking forward to that at all. But uh, she broke up with me, flew up alone, fucked another guy, and worst of all, the Broncos smashed the Sharks. That's how... Wars got started. Fuck me. I'm, I'm so sorry to hear that, John. That's, uh... Fuck that bitch. Uh, yeah, that that's... I think that's a fair enough reason to either to hate a team, but, uh... Yeah, so that's, uh... That's gonna be, uh, it for the stream tonight. Uh, I think it was a very... One of the better ones, to say the very least. Uh, thank you all for coming. And, uh... And I will, uh... Yes, I don't know, should I just... I don't know, I want to chill out for like the next five minutes. I'm, uh, I'm not too sure, but uh, no, nah, I might actually yeah, pop off. Anyway, thank you all so much for coming. Thank you to everybody who subscribes. I love you all very dearly, and I will see you all on Saturday for the Triple Header.